Hello everyone, so uh, we are going to start on a model based on this reference today. So uh, this uh, hit plane is a screen grab from one of Danimax tutorials. Also, Danimax is uh, also one of the, I would say, the gods of uh, ZBrush. Um, he's, he's got uh, lots of subscribers on YouTube. He's got very good tutorials and uh, you can look at a lot of his uh, artworks over here. <laughs> Okay, so we'll go and check him out when subscribe to him. I think uh, it is really beneficial to learn from him. And then a lot of things I learned and what I'm teaching here is uh, also based on uh, what I've seen and learned uh, from him. And then uh, on the way, I may slow things down to just uh, touch on a few points um, to make things a little bit more elaborate for total beginners because um, I think it's, uh, for, for example, for the hip planes, uh, also, the, I spend a little bit more time to get, uh, to get you guys to get focus on this uh, this line over here, and um, yeah, I've seen a lot of uh, models uh, done by different artists, and uh, that is really important that we get this line right from the start, and uh, to put it in a good place, and then uh, just have a very good control of this whole whole uh, side plane over here. And how it relates to the front view, and uh, how how the chick is, and the different distance measurements. So that's why I also have uh, this uh, window open, and uh, it just gives us a lot of information on the measurements of the head, <laughs> and uh, equal distance between the eyes, equal distance between the mouth, things like that. So I'll touch on this a little bit more as I go along. And uh, if you have a secondary window, you can also put this window on the side. But I'm just going to leave this here because uh, I may need to point things out from time to time. And I've set up my uh, front view over here. And I've also set up my side view over here. Okay, so maybe I'll just show a little bit on how I set this up. So I go to pure ref. If I open up my pure ref, and then I would, I would uh, bring in my side view reference to my pure ref. Okay. So I'll scroll this out a little bit and uh, to get it to match the size right here like by scrolling it might be a little bit hard you know because the threshold is a little bit wide but uh, I can make it uh, slightly smaller so I press Control shift r a few times and then uh, get the right size so I really like how I press uh, Control shift r to uh, get it to fit precise to the selection and it also helps me to get the right size when I'm doing my pure reference and I just need to save this uh, two different pure reference pure ref file and then I'll be able to get it to start working all right so uh, I'll also rename my files here so to start working this is my face and then this is my neck and now I'll do a I'll set up my views first, okay? Since, since we change our view, okay? Uh, this so this model side view based on uh, Denimax. I would also um, put the links in the description so you can check out his original tutorial. Okay, so the head may change a little bit more, and uh, for now we are still using a generic model, but a little bit more based on animation character, and then so it's a little bit more stylized as well. But even if you are doing realistic model, you can still use this as a foundation as a guide I think uh, it will still be fine as well okay so I'll I think uh, for now this uh, side view is fine so I'll go to document yeah okay, I'll just bring this over so uh, I have the previous view set up custom view following the previous uh, reference so I'll just clear that make sure you press clear all to clear all the views then uh, now that my hit plane is in this position I'll just press uh, custom 2 set this view here all right so now i want you guys to take note and uh, be a bit more careful about this because i am uh, trying not to move too much to minimize the movement and to set the second view so i'll just uh, left click on this uh, guide over here to change this to a front view so i turn, just turn left twice change this to a front view and then i would oh sorry i realized i haven't set this up to transparent to mouse all right super important guys Transparent to mouse. Okay, set this up to transparent to mouse as well. So later we will only control it by clicking on the the pure ref window on the taskbar, and then in order to control it. Okay, so uh, reason for that is 
I want it to remain the same same angle so I don't want it to zoom in and then although it it looks funny now but this empty gap between the front view and the side view uh, remains consistent here so so actually what I'm doing is the camera view uh, is consistent so when I shape my model it would not be out of place so if you don't do this right uh, your view might become inconsistent so I'm a little bit more careful about this so once I'm done I press custom one so to check my model press uh, F6 F7 so I have uh, this set up on my hotkeys F6 F7 and then I'll just jump between these two views 6 F7 <clears throat> all right so I'm happy with that so if I were to change this uh, head plane and then I'll shape it a little bit bigger to match the reference so my front view it would be mostly correct as well So this way I'll be able to get a very uh, very good estimate on the model. And just now I was just using snake hook to shift it. My model uh, resolution is still pretty low right now. So I want to try to uh, organize all the resolution to be of uh, two, 250 resolution. So I'll go to my neck, I'll change the resolution to 250. I'll go to the face, I'll change the resolution to 250. And I'm also starting to off my Sculptis Pro on, uh, on my model because I, I want to it to be more dynamic based and then uh, I'll have more regular control on different areas so the dynamic resolution just evens out everything so this is before dynamic this is after so just to show you all right so now I'm still adjusting my side view now I'm working on the neck and uh, maybe I just want to make sure my symmetry is on so press X so I have symmetry on on both, looking at my front view, and then I'll go to my side view and adjust the neck. Hold down shift to smooth it out a little bit, and then I'll also try to uh, snake hook. A lot of snake hook, but because uh, we are doing it in a symmetry, so the other side gets implemented with the same changes as well. So it's not too funny. the even small areas of the neck so uh, even if you haven't fully decide on your character uh, we can just use this as a base so that we can just start somewhere <coughs> okay so I think uh, there may be a little bit of error on the top part but it's okay so overall it's still pretty accurate my front view and side view <coughs> Shipping the front view a little bit more. All right. <clears throat> so uh, from my front view, I just want to uh, create a cylinder. So I press a pen, a pen on a cylinder, cylinder over here. And then what I do is that I'll create this cylinder and then I'll rename it as year. Press W to scale it down. Then I'll go to my side view to start rotating it. Hold down Shift to rotate it 90 degree. Uh, sorry, let me do that here. Rotate 90 degree. And then I place it on the side here. Okay, we are going to just going to do one year, and then later we will mirror to the other side, so it's okay. So once again, I'll bring it to view. Uh, press F7 to go to custom view two, or you can press F5 to locate this window document window 
you press F5, you didn't get this window. Maybe you don't have my shortcuts or my interface setup, or maybe there could be a glitch on the preference. So you can just press a preference config, press a restore config UI, and then re restore to your custom UI again. And then when you press F5, you will get this window. Okay, so just so you know, uh, F6, F7. <coughs> Shape my ear a little bit better. So now the uh, it was just this is just from a cylinder, so I can it's very low poly, and then when I shape it, it's actually very small. So it's actually pretty cool that I can get a lot of these shapes like this. Let me check the front view. Front view looks like this, so I'll just rotate it out. Okay. So it's gonna look something like this maybe I'll push this out a little bit more front view side view okay so once it's uh, kind of in place I'll use my number 9 brush so uh, hold down control shift yes so number 9 brush which is my clip curve if you didn't know so if I hold down control shift I'll be able to cut like this I'll just cut that Okay, so uh, that doesn't work so well. So I'll do a dynamesh resolution to this, 250. And I'll just dynamesh. So all my resolution is currently at 250. We can bump it up higher as we go along. Sorry, 250, press enter. Okay, press uh, F7 again. Shift into view. I will use a click curve again to cut on this uh, ear. So that looks pretty cool to me. Uh, it's looking pretty accurate. I'm pressing a shift F to show its polyframe color as well. So maybe that will help you to uh, to look at the model as well. Shift F. Okay. So it's looking pretty good. My front view. You know what, I'm just gonna very quickly adjust my uh, <laughs> very quickly adjust my my uh, pure ref because it's really turning me off like the how it's uh, not exactly accurate and uh, yeah it's good to keep in mind this uh, always on top thing and this uh, pure ref we may need to adjust it from time to time like uh, when you save this and you reload again the position may change slightly Although we saved the pure ref file, but uh, we try to minimize it as much as we can. Okay, so now I'm I'm good. I'll just press Control Transfer into mouse again. All right, so F6, F7, F6, F7, F6, F7. Sorry, let me do that again. Transfer into mouse. Okay, so now it's actually pretty accurate. I'm actually quite happy. Okay, now we have this year done. Uh, the form looks great as well. Uh, following the reference pretty well. Uh, mirror and well. This goes to the other side. And then uh, if I want to make changes, make sure my symmetry is on. So symmetry is on on all my sub tools. Let's uh, adjust the neck, the bottom part a little bit. What, a little bit more from the front view? I think uh, maybe I should just pull from the side here because actually it's more of this side. So not exactly from the front view because I want this to remain a little bit straighter. I should go to the jaws here and push this out much more. There we go. That is much more accurate right now.
All right, so uh, this is looking pretty good, and uh, I can use my just my perspective view right now. I want to start smoothing this out a little bit, so I just I don't want to fully smooth it. I want this line to remain there. Then um, maybe, but maybe I'll start inflating this cheek area so it it will look more like rounded. You know, but I know exactly where this is. You know, so I'll inflate here a little bit. Which is obviously a very important part of the face. And also where the line stops. So from the side view. a bit much so my inflate brush works really well and then um, just need to reduce it a bit more now so I number two to reduce the polish on this area all right so I think I'm happy with that okay so we will continue this on the next video so um, remember to save your work time to time and then uh, next we will do the eye area all right see you next time bye, -bye.